Well, this story is appropriate here with those air conditioners running. The Public Utility Commission wanted answers from ERCOT after the organization asked Texans to conserve power just last week. But they found out that ERCOT has an issue with power forecasting even when it has nothing to do with the weather. 6 News reporter Andrew Moore explains. ERCOT does a lot of forecasting. The Texas grid gets power from wind and solar, and predictions are important. Fortunately, the majority of our grid's power comes from natural gas, which flows to plants through a pipe. So that should be much easier to predict, right? Forecasting thermal generation, you've got at best 18 hours, maybe 24. 18 to 24 hours. is. And after that, you don't have any visibility. We don't have good visibility now. It turns out that, according to ERCOT VP for Grid Planning, Woody Rickerson, the power sources that come out of the ground are actually harder to predict. Rickerson said generation plant companies are supposed to provide seven days of accurate information, but they don't. So ERCOT uses historical data instead. PUC Chairman Peter Lake told Rickerson they can do better. Okay, uh, that, that seems like we need to something we need to improve on. Yes, can't sir. improve on. That's, is there any functional reason we couldn't improve getting that data? Or? There's no, no functional reason we couldn't. Okay. I mean, there'll be some, I mean, it is what it is for reasons, but the, from a functional systems standpoint, we're set up to receive that. So now the Public Utility Commission will be looking into what information ERCOT needs and why they are not getting it. Because planning out the power needs of Texas would be easier if ERCOT knew what they were going to get from their main power providers. Andrew Moore, 6 News. Wow. Well, the Public Utilities Commission will hold another meeting on Thursday. We still don't know if they'll take any action, though, on this information. Not the greatest news.